Hi there folks, my name's NovaWing24 and welcome to the Nova Wrap, your one-stop location for all your simulation release news and goings on from the week that was. Alrighty folks, so here we are once again on Sunday the 26th of February 2017 and we are off to a cracking start this week with a couple of releases from the wonderful guys over at Alabeo, or rather one release from the guys over at Alabeo, my apologies. So this week we saw the release of their PA-22 Tri-Pacer. So this is an aircraft um, that was produced by Piper uh, back in the 1950s and 60s uh, where it was uh, the, the same sort of like early post-war period design philosophy of something very simple, very easy to fly um, and very similar to the Piper Cub and Super Cub in its design philosophy. Now it was designed as a tri-wheel, so a, a nose wheel undercarriage aircraft. Um, so what the original Pacer was a tail wheel and then uh, it was uh, it was then re-released as the Tri-Pacer with the nose wheel. And Alabeo have brought this classic aircraft to life uh, now for us in the FSX and P3D world. Uh, so as usual comes with all the um, absolutely stunning uh, high definition textures and beautiful quality model that we've come to expect from Alabeo and their sister company uh, Car Carinado and looking amazing so it comes with uh, four high definition uh, liveries as well as the uh, blank texture for creating your own and uh, as a, just a beautiful high quality model for this one as well so looking not too bad so this one is available directly for purchase directly from Alabeo or available from your fl favorite flight sim retailer now Moving on with other aircraft releases this week and sticking with the uh, civil aviation world for the now for the time being, the guys over at Just Flight have released their PA28R Arrow 3, so sticking on with Piper products. The guys over just like gave us some uh, teaser pictures of this one uh, late last year uh, and early this year, and uh, this was the latest creation for them. So the, they've uh, modelled this one on a uh, hands-on real-life research aircraft, uh, and uh, so we've got an incredible amount of highly detailed sounds and textures for this aircraft from the guys over just flight, courtesy of that uh, beautiful uh, of the actual real aircraft they got to model it off. Comes with all our fully high-definition uh, 4096 textures uh, for the F6 and P3D world. And uh, as one of the things that we commonly see uh, with the Just Flight uh, aircraft as well, comes with all the ground equipment, including shocks and tie downs as well. So, uh, looking pretty damn, damn amazing. Uh, one of the interesting and kind of cool things that um, has been thrown in with this particular re release from the guys at Just Flight from their in house development team um, is the fact that it does have a panel state system, uh, which basically means that whenever you shut the, whenever you finish your flight and exit the simulator, um, it'll actually take a snapshot of the way your actual settings are. Uh, way you've set up your cockpit uh, and the way you've um, uh, set all your panels and states and switches and gauges, you will take a snapshot of where they're set up and actually remember that for the next time that you're actually going to be loading into that aircraft, which is actually kind of cool um, for that one. Now, as far as I know, it does only work when you actually um, save a flight uh, rather than if you just shut your sim down, so uh, there's probably something to be aware of, but yeah, not a bad little uh, thing to do for that one and a kind of cool little extension of some of the things that the uh, ESP simulators are capable of, which is kind of cool. Uh, as I said, this Don does come with a beautiful 3D model, a fully interactive uh, 3D virtual cockpit, as well as uh, 11 liveries um, for the aircraft, as well as a beautiful sound, sound set from their uh, test aircraft, uh, recorded and produced by the guys over at Turbine Sound Studio. So looking absolutely amazing for this one. Available now from the Just Flight store uh, for coming in a bit high price. It's coming in about uh, 42. Uh, US dollars, so a little on the high price for this one, um, but still looking pretty damn impressive, so it does looking good. Um, but yeah, available now from Just Flight, and uh, I'm sure will be released across the other uh, flight simulation retailers in the very near future, available now. Alrighty, continuing on with aircraft releases for the F6 and P3D world this week. The guys over at A1 Des A1R Design Bureau have released a uh, uh, their third. I think it's their third aircraft. I think they've actually come out with. And these guys specialize, specialize in some more obscure um, Russian aircraft, and uh, this uh, is no exception. So this is the uh, Yak-55M. So the Yak-55M uh, is a aircraft that um, so was de de developed and designed during the late 1980s for the 19 for the unlimited uh, class competition aerobatics. Um, uh, competitions around the world and is uh, looking pretty and look, this one has been done really really beautifully um, so it's p very popular um, throughout the um, the uh, Commonwealth of Independent States and um, and is 
still fairly popular um, in, throughout the uh, Western world as well, uh, as it is it does offer a very um, low cost, um, high performance aerobatic aircraft. Although discontinued, discontinued now um, and replaced by uh, in the sort of the actual major competitions by uh, newer aircraft, it still has a, a popularity, especially as a training um, aircraft for that class. Now this one does come with some beautiful high definition liveries for this one, as well as um, fully authentic and custom uh, sounds for all the knobs and switches, as well as the engine, as well and a fully animated virtual cockpit and authentic gauges and authentic design for this one. So looking pretty damn cool. As I said, it looks like they paid a lot. Of attention to this aircraft uh, looking very impressive. So, if you want something as an alternative uh, to use in uh, your uh, your FSX um, uh, Reno race missions, this might be one to think about picking up. So, this one is available uh, now uh, from your favorite flight sim retailer, coming in around about uh, 30 US dollars um, or your original equivalent, uh, various spice store to store. Uh, available, uh, fully compatible with the full ESP platform range, so uh, FSX uh, with uh, FSX uh, Standard and Steam, as well as um, Lockheed Martin's Prepared 3D 2 and 3 available now. In other aircraft releases for the FSX and P3D world, we see the guys over at Aeroplane Heaven, um, who'd been uh, teasing us over the last few months with uh, some shots of their upcoming Typhoon, have finally released their Hawker Typhoon Mark 1B, so possibly the most um, famous um, and uh, well-recognized version of the Typhoon. So this was um, very, very, yeah, you know, very distinctive with its uh, D-Day stripes and its uh, rocket pods under the wing and its uh, four Hispano 20 uh, millimeter cannon. In the wings. Um, this is very much a, a, a very you know or, you know very distinctive aircraft, um, and uh, and was essentially d designed as a replacement for the uh, for the Hurricane. Uh, originally designed um, pro uh, as a um, as, as a fighter, but uh, found its most successful duties um, being a, in the uh, ground attack and tank busting roles. So um, it still still um, would uh, uh, would serve would serve very well as a uh, as a fighter, um, but yeah, would find its most of its missions uh, revolving around the ground attack role. So this version uh, that's been produced by Aeroplane Heaven is for the, as I said before, the Hawker, Hawker Typhoon Mark 1B with the bubble canopy, and as the most distinctive versions. This one comes with a beautifully, highly detailed 3D model, uh, complete with um, it, the fully, yeah, fully stocked animations um, of the opening canopy. A beautiful stereo sound pack for this one as well, uh, and gun. Yes, it does have gun firing effects with shell casings and gun smoke. No, they don't hit anything. Just it's just an effect only. It also comes with some really absolutely incredibly detailed virtual cockpit um, and full cold and dark startup process as well. So you can actually go through do all the hard work of actually starting this thing up because it was it was a very complex process to do this one. Full six uh, beautiful high definition liveries were included with this one as well as a paint kit included as well. As I said, available now and it's available directly from Airplane in heaven, uh, 25 US dollars or your original equivalent, um, and from your favourite flight sim retailer available now. Alright, in other aircraft releases, well, re-releases in this particular case, um, so we've got another Steam Edition adaptation of a previously released add-on. Um, so this is from First Class Simulations. Um, for this is the Hawker Heroes pack. So uh, for those who've been around uh, the flight simulation world for a while, you would know to possibly be wary of anything that's labelled first class simulations. I know I am very wary of anything said that way. Uh, but if you do, if you are if you are tempted to try it, this Hawker Heroes pack uh, does include uh, four um, Hawker uh, aircraft from the Hawker stables. Includes the Hawker Fury, uh, which was a um, an interwar biplane fighter, which was uh, one of the fastest biplane. Um, I think it was the fastest biplane fighter. I think the Royal Air Force ever actually operated. Um, uh, which uh, would go on and still did serve at the outbreak of the Second World War. Uh, it does include the Hawker Hurricane as well, no introduction there, sort of the, the one that won the Battle of Britain. Uh, it does include also then the two later derivatives, uh, so the Typhoon, the Hawker Typhoon and the Hawker Tempest. Um, interesting enough, the Typhoon variant also seems to be the Hawker, uh, the Typhoon 1B, um, and for the Tempest appears to be the Tempest 5, which used the uh, same or a similar uh, Napier engine with the big chin intake that the uh, Typhoon 
Typhoon did. Um, a little surprised that First Class Simulations didn't actually do the um, Tempest um, 6, which was the more distinctive Tempest, uh, which served primarily post-war, which had the radial engine in it. But anyway, uh, but yeah, as I said, look, First Class Simulations stuff, uh, I don't have this, not going to review it, um, but their stuff is very, very, very basic, so just be aware of that. Um, which, you know, has its benefits as well, but yeah, just be aware it is that they are very basic aircraft that you're going to be getting here with this with this pack. Uh, if you are looking at grabbing this one, available now on Steam for F-16 Edition for 19 uh, US dollars or your original equivalent. Uh, though, as uh, as always, if you are thinking of picking this up and do have multiple SIM platforms, um, then you may want to consider picking it out from your standard retailer. Uh, but as always, as I always say, first class simulations, it's very much a buyer beware and read some reviews before you buy. But yes, available now on Steam. Alright, continuing on with some other flight simulation releases this week. So, uh, in the world of scenery releases, uh, we saw... Actually, oh, sorry, I do apologise. I almost forgot this one. This is actually really, really exciting. Um, so, um, it may only it's only an update, but for those who do uh, love their classic aircraft, um, especially Manfred Yan's uh, stuff, uh, the guys, um, Manfred Yan and uh, friends, have actually been recently redeveloping uh, Manfred Yan's classic C-47 Skytrain train um, to updating it to version 3 and one of the previous um, the, the latest update which is version 3.14 is available from over at Sim Outhouse um, big update for this one is it now includes night textures and uh, night cockpit lighting so really really big improvement I know that was a big thing that was missing from the first release the developers did acknowledge that uh, but that has now been fixed and it is looking stunning so if you love your classic aviation you definitely want to go and grab this you really do but I'll pop a link down below for everybody to go check that out if that is your cup of tea available now for free free so there you go all right okay now as i said uh running out uh saw the flight simulation releases for the fsx and esp world for this week the guys over at FSIM Studios um, have released their latest offering, which is Calgary International Airport. So, uh, Calgary International uh, Airport uh, in uh, Alberta in Canada um, is the main uh, sort of uh, airport hub for that side of thing, and it serves as the uh, headquarters and hub for uh, headquarters for WestJet and uh, a major hub airport for Air Canada and Air Canada Express as well. Um, and um, it looks this is looking not too bad. The photo reel seems a bit out of focus, um, but the 3D modeling looks quite solid. Um, so yes, this is available. Alpha has uh, high resolution textures, very detailed um, uh, build bit buildings, as I said, uh, volumetric grass and full night lighting, as well as uh, custom ground poly uh, for the terrain uh, around it as well. Uh, fully compatible with uh, Orbix's uh, Air Airdrie Air, Air Park, which is a nearby airport as well for that, um, and does have fully animated jetways included as well. So yes, available now uh, from the uh, so from Sim Market uh, from F, F Sim Studios, uh, coming in at around about twenty four US dollars, um, which for a major international airports and yeah, about, about the uh, standard price for that one are uh, available and now for the full uh, range of FSX and P3D platforms. Alright, moving on to other simulation releases this week, and uh, as we often do, we saw a release from the guys over at uh, Dovetail from for uh, Dovetail Games Train Simulator, so we saw a release from them this week, the London Overground BR Class 313 Electric Units. So, um, this was uh, one of the... Uh, um, sort of uh, middle generation one uh, generation trains produced for British Rail as they were actually uh, as, as the uh, more of the lines would actually be electrified uh, throughout the country. Um, so produced during uh, the uh, the late 1970s, uh, 64 of these trains were produced uh, primarily for use within the uh, North Line uh, North London line um, and built as three car units. So they they were very um, very common and very um, uh, very frequent sites uh, throughout uh, for commuters uh, heading uh, from the north uh, into London, uh, and yeah, looking um, not bad as uh, the usual high quality detail, um, both uh, external textures and, and fully detailed uh, cab of this train as well, fully included, uh, fully compatible as always with Quick Drive and Steam Workshop scenarios. Now it does have um, a three career scenarios as well for this add-on. 
But again, like uh, we often see with the uh, with the uh, train sim stuff, uh, in order to be able to use those three scenarios, you do need to have a separate piece of de piece of DLC, the North London uh, line route add-on. You do need to have that if you do want to get the uh, the three scenarios, um, getting you between uh, London and Stratford and uh, various places as well. So yeah, um, a very iconic um, piece of British rail history uh, before it was being uh, replaced in the um, in the uh, early two uh, thousands. But yes. Uh, Still something looking kind of cool and uh, very beautiful liveries for these ones. But yes, available now. Coming in at uh, 20 US dollars or your original equivalent, available now on Steam. All right, sticking at ground level for the moment, and uh, but moving into something a little bit faster. So we saw the guys um, from Ride 2. So we saw uh, Milestone uh, they, with their uh, production of Ride 2. Uh, they've released their latest piece of DLC which is their um, 2017 Top Bikes Pack. Um, so this is coming up with the latest um, models that have been produced uh, by, uh, from, um, from trade fairs uh, that, have, that were shown off for upcoming models uh, in sort of 2016 for upcoming models in 2017. Um, so we've got a, a pretty interesting range of uh, six different bikes here, a representative from all the major manufacturers. Uh, we've got a Ducati uh, in there, we've got a Kawasaki, Suzuki, a Honda, Husqvarna, and and a KTM bike are all included with this one. So these are all upcoming models that are for release in 2017 uh, and looking kind of cool in their virtual environment. So uh, you can take them out for a spin uh, on your virtual test track and virtual roads in the Ride 2 environment now. So it's coming in quite affordable actually. It's coming in basically a dollar a bike. So six US dollars of the original equivalent available now on Steam. Alright, still sticking with with the uh, cars and vehicle, road vehicles at the moment, so the Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 saw the release of a new piece of DLC this week. Uh, so this one uh, is their Total Modifications DLC. So basically, um, this one is sort of giving a bit more a bit more of a sandbox mode into it, so moving away from the career mode sort of side of things. Um, but you can actually, um, which is something that I kind of wanted and I kind of think should be part of the core game. So I think it's a, a bit of a shame that you actually got to buy a DLC to get sandbox mode. So that's probably my only real bugbear with that game. Um, but yeah, it does give you a sandbox now mode now, so you can sort of work and explore and um, interact with uh, all the cars and engines that, that are available inside our Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. But it also allows you to do some modifications with this one. So you can actually uh, change uh, engines out between different vehicles. You can change the different, uh, get some really cool new rims. Um, you can do all sorts of like effects. Uh, you can uh, change your suspension from, you know, like put a four-wheel drive suspension on like a mini vehicle, like that kind of stuff. Like it's a lot of crazy stuff you can do with custom hoods, uh, put uh, big trolley bar um, wings on the back of your vehicle, whatever you like. So it, it's kind of cool. Cool, kind of quirky. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie. I think this DLC probably should have been kind of come in a lot cheaper or come in for free. Um, it's particularly the sandbox mode part. I think that should be made available free for free. But anyway, uh, available uh, for three US dollars, so it's not too badly priced um, or your original equivalent. Currently on a 20% off special for the next couple of days. Uh, available uh, for 20% off for two dollars forty US or your original equivalent. Available now on Steam. Alright, and rounding out the simulation releases this week, this is one that I'm really, really excited about that I think is really cool. Um, so I've done a review of this game already. I did review it when it was in uh, pre-release, um, and I'm going to put a link down to not only to the uh, title, but also to the... Uh, to my review as well. Um, 911 Operator. Now, this title is just awesome. It's just absolutely awesome um, it pretty much is as it says you take on the role of an emergency services dispatcher so you're taking uh, emergency services calls uh, that come in from members of the public um, and or from reports from um, you know police ambulance and fire that are in the field and you've got to dispatch the right crews to go and look after them and make sure and and choose when not to dispatch crews as well like that's just as important um, and I think this is one of the best titles like ever I, I would almost say that I I, th I think this is a guaranteed buy. You need to go out and buy this. Um, having said that, though, a uh, little disappointed with one thing about it. Very, very disappointed with one thing about it. Um, so it's um, they've launched it with a piece of day one DLC, um, which is very, very disappointing. Um, so um, basically, the, the day one DLC is the special resources pack. Uh, what it does is it adds in a couple of new vehicle types. 
um, and a couple of equipment types. So um, yeah, things you can equip your first responders with. Um, Honestly, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm i a little disappointed that they've done the Day 1 DLC. I think that should be part of the core game. I think there should be a, a hole in one set. Um, I mean, at the same time, the whole package included with everything, including the Day 1 DLC, um, is less than 20 bucks. So I definitely think you definitely worth it for that um even the 20 yeah, to less than 20 bucks just get it just seriously go and get it um but yeah as i said a little disappointed uh with the day one dlc a little disappointed with that but anyway um yeah available now on steam highly recommended from me even if you just get the core game definitely highly recommended from me uh currently on a launch special 20 percent off for the first week um so definitely a great time to buy and you know what I, I, it, it's real. I'm really in two minds about this. I, I hate the fact that they've done the D, day one DLC. It's not going to make a huge difference to your experience. It really won't. Um, so it's not a huge deal if you don't get it. And I kind of have to say, don't buy it because we need to give the feedback to the devs here that it was a bad idea. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but the core game itself, very solid, very brilliant harrowing as hell to play, to play, but highly recommended from me. So, there you go. Yes, available now. Uh, normally 15 US dollars uh, for the core game. Uh, currently on launch special for 12 US dollars or your original equivalent. Available now on Steam. Alright folks, that does round out the simulation release news for this week. Thank you very much for joining me. But before I go, I have a favour to ask from you guys. So, um, I just want to get some feedback from you guys about the channel. So, what I've done is I've created a little um, online short, a short little online survey that I would love for you guys to fill out and complete. Uh, I'm going to be leaving this survey out for a couple of weeks, so I'm going to talk about it a little bit more both um, here on the channel and, of course, on my Facebook page as well. I'd love for you guys to fill it out, take a few minutes just to talk to me, just to let me know what it is that you guys want to see on this channel. There's a lot of th I've got a few ideas kicking around of things that I want to do, um, but I want to know what you guys want. I really do, because you know, as, as much as this channel is for me, it's also for you guys. So I'd love to know what you guys want to do, want to see on the channel, and things that uh, you want me to, to see me do and try, and that kind of fun stuff as well. So uh, please, I'll pop the link in the description down below. Please take a couple of minutes. Um, it literally is going to take you less than, actually, it's going to take you less than two minutes. So probably less than one. Um, please have a consider, head over, click the link, fill it out, submit, let me know what you guys think. That'd be awesome. All right, folks, thanks very much for joining me. Don't forget, as always, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these videos and want to see more. And of course, as always, you can catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos by finding me on Facebook and on Twitter. Just search Nova Wing 24 All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe skies to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.